What's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through something that not a lot of people know about uh, when getting uh, bigger camps for the Genesis Coupe. Uh, when you get GAC Stage 1 or 2 cams, uh, I think even the, the Tomei cams as well, you have to take the head to the machine shop because it has to get... You see where, where this is at right here? This is where the cam loops would usually go and hit the buckets and push the valves down, right? Short story short, you need to have a machine shop grind down some material in order to make the cams fit because if you don't grind it down it's not going to fit and it's going to hit the wall right here that's why you see on my heads it's shaved down a little bit but i just wanted to get, let you guys know about that um also a lot of guys have you guys have been asking to know about like what i run for my heads like what setup i have and my head setup is of course gsc stage two cams um BC valves, both of them are oversized intake and exhaust, and I also have Beehive valve springs and retainers. Also, the head is ported and polished already, so it's a fully built head. It should handle at least, I think, it should be able to handle 95, 9,000 RPMs. Very easy. I'm not going to go through the install process of the heads. I just, I would just recommend you guys taking it to someone or to a machine shop to do that. But I am going to show you guys how to install the heads, install the cams, uh, cam tower ARP studs, uh, also the ARP uh, head bolts, um, and everything else. All right, so first things first, of course, you're going to need your ARP assembly lube. If you don't have assembly lube, don't do this step. Make sure you have enough assembly lube to do it and to lube them up really nice on the threads, top and bottom. Well, you're going to do these uh, last whenever you throw on the heads, but anyways, go over here, get the other one. Again, thread this in by hand, make sure it's grabbing, make sure it's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my ratchet, and I'm going to tighten it down. Oh, and the size for this is a size 5. And it's going to be a hex. And all I'm doing is I'm just rotating the ratchet. I'm not putting extra pressure or anything. I'm just rotating it. Did you guys hear that? All right. So the reason why you heard that noise is because on these studs, on these studs, do you see that how, how it has that little uh, nipple at the end of it? On the OEM studs, it doesn't have that. So essentially, you're leaving an air pocket in the bottom of the threads while ARP designed the studs to get rid of that air pocket. There we go. That nasty noise. Now that all these studs are really... Uh, Tying down, what I like to do is go back and loosen them a little, right? Loosen them. For example, I loosen this one, right? And what I'm doing right now is I'm just turning it till it stops. That's all I'm doing. And I'm doing that to all of them. All right. Up next, head gasket. I am using the OEM Hyundai gasket. Uh, the only other gasket there is that can replace this one is the cosmetic uh, head gasket, which, uh, which I've heard that's basically OEM still better than that one. So I just went with OEM again. But yeah, OEM head gasket. I'm gonna toss it on right now. Cool. Head gasket on. Make sure it lines up perfectly. All right. Very important step, guys. Do not forget this filter. If you forget this filter, you're not going to have oil pressure um, right here. So just a quick FYI to always get that filter. And that's where it goes. So got the head gasket on, head bolts, filter. Now we can throw on the heads.
All right, we got the heads installed. What I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna wipe everything down up here real quick. And then I'm gonna insert the, the washers and I'm gonna torque them down to 90 foot pounds.